coming up on the next episode of the Celsius Pod. I'm going to rip my head out, bro. I talked to someone important, and I said, hey, where's me award, man? And he said, I don't know. He can also, he can probably also risk up James Franco, I could say. Do not let any couples or friends inside of your group. Those will kill every single vibe in the group. If, if you see one, please raise your hand and I will come and break them up. Guys, hello everybody. This is podcast episode 62, the longest True. episode in podcast history. No, You're because a- I have to write an essay tonight. So that's not what's going to happen. I watched a lot of Hunter Hunter episode by episode breakdown incoming. <laughs> you have to say, I watch Mac, you have all to say, of Silo. Mac, you have to say everything about Hunter Hunter right now in the next minute. Minute? Speed run this. Okay, yeah, so we're minute. starting with. Go. I, fi- I finished Wait. the Chimera arc. I'm moving on to the arc after that. I don't know what it's called. But Chimera arc still fire. The ending, I don't know, didn't hit as much this time. Um, but I do still think it's really good. It does feel like a bit of a cop out the way they finally end it, but it is still a very powerful ending. Um, this next arc, I already know what's going to happen. It's a good epilogue arc. I don't. I have heard that they're trying to do a season after this because the manga continued after this. But at the point where it ends right now, I think it is a good ending. But they do leave room open for a lot. Um, in the future. All right, episode by episode breakdown. Okay, let's start with the Zodiacs. No, because, Becca, I wanted to, I want to comment something. Yeah? They're probably going to make more because there still is more, and that's typically what happens with anime. Yeah, but, like, this ended, like, a while ago, and they're, like, doing kind of a revival for it. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe not, then. But maybe, yeah. if it's but popular enough. there's a lot in the manga, so I was thinking of reading it. You should read the manga. And that's all your all right, time, time's up. Oh, next so next sad. subject, another anime. <laughs> I watched he gets season two one of yeah, Jujutsu one. He gets Kaisen. One I don't need that much time. Why do I get one minute for Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah, season one. Wait until my Academia Okay, that's fine. I don't need that much time. I don't need that much time. Uh, season one of Jujutsu Kaisen was actually uh, pretty good. It had some moments that was like highly quotable, like I'd win? win and stuff like that. Uh, wow. so far, yes. Um, uh, there's some good moments. It's definitely building up, and so far, it's definitely a good anime. It's a, as all shown in animes made and Mappa produced stuff is. If only Mappa didn't overwork their workers. Yeah, uh, it's but it's a good anime. Like I do, there. I do uh, recommend it. It's a good show. It's is what very. Did you watch it on Nickelodeon? Because I'm thinking of watching. Oh, it. I pirated it. I pirated it. What a cool oh. guy. Wow. Don't I don't kill it. us. Don't kill us corporate. That, that that's probably the worst thing he said in this entire call. It's true. Guys, speaking of I can of say piracy, something worse. Speaking of piracy, it's not really piracy, but a whole movie got leaked. Oh, we yeah, we got to talk about this. <laughs> yeah. Uh so this is one of the things I watched this week. Are you guys you familiar with it without me? Yeah. So are you guys familiar with SpongeBob SquarePants? Uh huh. Okay. So, we actually was... explain the plot of it to me. I don't remember. Oh, I... so basically, the movie it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Sandy cheeks. It helps bikini bottom. The movie. He claps something... those sandy cheeks. It's about sandy cheeks, and she has to save bikini bottom. And it was he supposed to release on streaming cheeks? sometime this year, I think. On mm. Netflix, there's been no trailer, no official release date, but the movie in its entirety got leaked and dumped online. The entire movie how... leaked before a single trailer came out. And I don't know how this happens. Because from me watching it, it felt like a completed movie, or at least almost all the way done. Okay, well, funny story about that is, um, do any of you guys know Paper Mario... Color splash. No. Yeah, <laughs> no totally. No color splash. I have to do with anything I just said. <laughs> Th- this is a game, and like six months before it released, it was finished. But there was some glitch on like the Nintendo eShop 
that let people just buy it early, and it was the entire completed game, like, six months before the release date. Like, mm. at, at what point do you not just release it then? I don't like, know. It, it's crazy. I mean, I guess waiting for a particular month of yeah, the year like the that, like, season. A, yeah. Yeah. Which this, actually, this, actually, this, actually, this actually reminds me of another... There, there's a movie... Wolverine Origins was actually also leaked almost a, a near complete movie before it um, was released and it was like full CGI portions were very completed mm. and um, there's actually there's like a story about like where they try to send out like a copy to like the Fox CEO and it got leaked and stuff so oh. it's interesting well, but no, back to Sponge back to Spongebob so yeah, the so movie got leaked the whole movie got leaked, and this is an, a 3D animated movie, so it it's kind of hard. Good. It doesn't look good. Is it because it's unfinished? No, no, I don't think so. I think it's that's just how like it's supposed that. to look. Because it looks like the other like stuff they've done for like Camp Coral and like stuff like that. It's that same style. It does, yeah, it does look like Camp Coral style. Um, but the movie, here's the movie. Bikini Bottom gets taken by this laboratory in Texas so that all the little, all the characters can be like toys or something. Mm. Um, and then Sandy and SpongeBob, who is the side character, the side character is SpongeBob, which doesn't work that well. Mm -hmm. um, they have to go save everybody. And nothing interesting happens. There's like three good jokes. And it's very boring. And it's a pseudo musical. Ugh, there's music? You know what? I feel like we have a lot of musicals we have to talk about. Okay, maybe, but we st oh, I still want to I still want to talk about the SpongeBob thing for like mm -hmm. so it got leaked. Where did you like find it on like online? I, I don't know where it originally surfaced from, but I found a Discord server that just has every single episode of SpongeBob ever. Yeah, oh, so I used to be in that. Except Camp Coral, because no one bothered, no one cared enough to put it in there. <laughs> True. And so, presumably, so you probably, you, so you said you don't like it, right? Or like, it's I not very... did not enjoy it. I, when it officially comes out, maybe I'll, I'll probably give it a second chance to see when it, what it actually is supposed to look like. Yeah. But I'm assuming it was an unfinished version of it. I'm I assuming this is the finished. I'm assuming a lot of heads are probably going to turn for this leak. I assume a you lot of a roll? roll. A lot of heads are going to roll for this. Like, like they did just not know that. Them and then their heads roll. They're going to fucking the people are going to get their heads on spikes for this fucking leak. His um, ass did not know that quote. Um, Speaking of heads like, on spikes. We're not there yet. We're still talking about this. Beck, it's not moving on. transition than what you're thinking of. <laughs> because this, I've literally watched two things, and this is one of them. Please let me talk about okay. it. But no, it's going to be the like, quickest oh, podcast in the episode. Book in. We remember because, like, the GTA, like, Six League, that guy's, like, going to jail oh, for, like, a that. Jail, like a mental hospital. Yeah, something really? like that. Yeah. They and, made um, his ass go crazy. And because, like, it's, it is insane that, uh, like, something of this magnitude can get leaked, like, just kind of very plainly, very yeah, finished. I yeah. I don't know how it happened, really, but it definitely feels finished. All of the voice cast is there. The credits are finished. The animation doesn't look good, but it looks finished. I don't mm -hmm. know. Like, it's all very intentional. No scenes feel like they were missing. I don't. I don't really know. Were the credits? Is there done? any parts? No, the credits were done. The credits were there. Is there any parts that do feel unfinished in any way? I mean, the animation, but I think it's just bad. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. considering all the voice work is done, I feel like it would be. I don't know why you would leave the animation for last. I think mm. you do those at the same time so you can like sync up voices and stuff, right? Yeah. Wait, Aiden, you watch more than two things. Okay, I watched three things then. Yeah. But it, I mean, it's just kind of interesting that it's like, I wonder, because like now that, now that there is probably reception out there, I assume what Aiden shares is not very, um, very singular opinion, probably. So what no. do, do you think this movie is what gonna, obvious, do you think it's gonna get anything like a scrapped or do you think they're gonna have to persist with it? I think they'll release it sooner now that it's been leaked. Yeah? Okay. Maybe. It, it doesn't have a release date 
yet still even now even now so that's i just find that i don't know but it wasn't very good yeah okay well, i mean it was fine it was fine yeah it was fine it's not very long but it feels really long that's not a very good sign no i was playing power wash simulator the entire time while watching it and yeah i would i would just like how is this movie still happening <laughs> i don't know even though it was short but nothing happens in it they go to the place and they fight the woman who's a robot it is i don't know mm. i'm not going to go Sounds down on the plot because it's not out yet but i did watch the movie all right yeah yeah. Well, they call you. We a... Continue with what you're watching. Are okay, you wanna... Beck. Tell us your fucking no. transition I'll, I'll that you need to Aiden. say. What? Hey, make a transition. Hey, do you know who else hates women like Nicola? <laughs> and Lyons. Sandy. No. So. Oh, like Bynes. Right. I yeah. true. Hate women and Beck. No, Lyons. but my my favorite villain in any. F- movie gassed on and guess what i watched beauty and the beast with beck because he's never seen it i have never wow. seen beauty and the beast like all the way through but i and do not tell you something from watching the high school musical the musical the series oh wow because what they do i've never musical. seen beauty and the beast either you know really hmm. yeah i've also and never seen to fly to ithaca to make you watch it how have you guys I've not seen this movie stopped. I just oh. never had access to it. Is this yeah. is did this movie win an Oscar or something? It was I don't know. For best picture, which oh, okay. was yeah, insanely it was, it was, rare. It's like the only one ever. The be first honest. and only, the first and only time an animated movie. Not the it, first and only, did, but didn't the first up, time. Didn't it was up the first nominate because I know like Toy Story three was also nominated and like up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> so let me just give so, my thoughts on it because Aiden's already seen this like ten times probably. Because it's so good, and I love Gaston. He's so awesome, and Beauty the music and the is really good. It's like definitely a classic. The problem with like yeah, you would like Gaston. Like, they feel like pretty like classic. Ah, know? so Becky, Becky, you wanted more diverse cast, right? You wanted to modernize. Oh, like, such a limp, getting <laughs> liberal. So you want you want, you want to add some more like um, disabled <laughs> teens in the mo- in the movie. Like it felt like stuff I, I'd already seen somehow. Just because, because you watch High School Musical, the musical, the series, and because it's such a classic, it's referenced in you a bunch of stuff. That is referenced so much that it, so it feels like I've already seen it. That that's what I'm saying. But it's still really good. Oh my god, it's like Mean Girls. Like, it's, it's literally like Mean Girls. Like you know, like it's like you haven't seen Mean Girls. It influenced so much of the culture that when you see it the first time, it's like, oh, well, this just kind of feels like everything that came after it. Please and tell me you've seen wait, Mean I Girls. Wait, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna have. Thank God. No, we're not Thank there. God. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, talk about I wanna hypo- the guys, we're mo- back. Stop, stop trying to move so fast. I wanna hypothesize something. Aiden, when would you say you first watched this movie? When I was a kid. And when did the movie exactly come out? I don't. Nineteen ninety six. Okay, Aiden's a kid, probably like. End of the 2000s, Probably I guess. Like, 20, it's like yeah. 2005, right? But that was when, when he was, was born. born. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you watch this like a kid, 20, 2010s. It's not, it's not that much of a different break. Oh, but yeah, now, like, 2017 from Wicked. We're, only, two, we're only all separated by one year gaps. Yeah, we're I know. not that far apart. I know, I know like, that. I, but he saw it when you're he was trying to say like we're like we some of us haven't oh, seen it because we're culturally I'm sorry, different. I was wrong. Okay, so we're not that far apart. I, I understand that, but he watches it when he's a kid, so he 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 feels the movie more now. Beck, he's seen Beck has seen like a wash up version of the movie in his later the years. Osmosis. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah. Beck, when he watches the original, he thinks like. I guess he thinks this is a bit underwhelming compared to what I've seen, probably. Yeah, especially when and it's like that. hyped up as this amazing film, you know? And it kind of is. I mean, it is pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing, but like... It's fine. I'm driving over. We're watching it tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll rewatch it, even though I have an essay due. Everybody I, to Beck's house. 
Wow. Yeah. Even you worry about go buy a plane ticket. I really should just do that one time. You know, just yeah. buy a plane ticket to Palo Alto unexpectedly show up to my house. When I get my press license, I will fly across the country and fly into Uri's dorm. Yeah, I'm gonna go get root beer. Say podcast time. No, <laughs> but um, so but Beck, what, did so did you like you like the movie? But like I you the just movie like a lot, yeah. But, but why is where your it did feel thoughts? like groundbreaking, life changing top five movies all time. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's okay, Beck, Beck, it's because you don't hate women enough to like Gaston. Oh, I think. Okay, yeah. oh and, and Aiden that. does, so of course he does. Yeah, I th- Gaston is so good. I love yeah. him. He's so funny. And Aiden absolutely despises women, so of course yeah. he relates to him. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, Beck, um, but- what I think what we've learned from this situation is that Beck has cultural osmosis. He's a champion of women, and... I know Nicholas racist or something, probably. Yeah. Can yeah. I say before we move on that uh, watching the movie on his TV had it, oh it had it, like th- it was so high defined that the animation looked worse. Yeah. And also, no. I think he has motion smoothing on, so it just made it look double. I was wearing a TV, bro. I watch ninety percent of stuff on my phone. That's okay. why I need to go with you to your house so that I can actually fix your Wait. technology. Yeah. All right. It was the same so, TV we watched the New Year's stuff on. Like, it wasn't noticeable yeah, that, then, right? Um, It was kind of... The only thing I remember is the audio was a bit weird from that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. No, uh, but there, there, there was motion smoothing on. And yeah, you it was just really aging. Molly McGee, and you were like, does this have motion smoothing? Yeah, I, I also pointed it I out that I think your TV is motion existing, bro. You should always turn off motion smoothing. Yeah, no, there's a button. Okay, it just says motion turn smoothing. Off. Turn it off. Always back. turn off That's motion tonight, smoothing. We're watching, we're watching Beauty and the but, Beast. Um, yeah, it we just makes things look worse. Remake. But, Speaking I mean... <laughs> but yeah, let's move on. Um, what else? All right. Aiden, do you want to do your last thing? As no, in, because it's a whole group thing. I want to do something. So Percy Jackson. wait before, um yeah I guess I can talk about Percy Jackson. Um so Percy Jackson you know the um, there I think there's eight episodes that I think the seventh ones came out. It's getting to this vibe where they just feel like kind of empty kind of characters, and I'm just not vibing with the show. The latest episode I think was the best episode they've had so far. But it's the part of the movie where they go to the underworld, and it is more represented better. Um, in the it, it's better represented in the movie, but it's still just kind of weird. And like, I don't feel like they just things. It feels like a, a story where things just kind of happen, and like nothing. Like, you no, know, there's no agency in the characters or something. Mm-hmm. And they also they always do this thing where um, they I think they've done this like maybe like three times. Where the where Percy is like holding up like his sword, but they only do like a close up on him, and like we see kind of like the glow of the sword, and it feels like they really just don't want to do the CGI to show the full sword. Saving budget. And and they're like, we'll save this for the fight. Let's just end the, and let's end the thing on a shot of him just holding the sword like this, Brain. about to fight. Cut to black. <laughs> but um. Yeah, and well, so as, as uh, I've learned from my filmmaking experience, CGI is very hard. Yeah, but haven't you watched you, um, as compared to people who do it for a living? You're yeah, why don't you just do watch Captain Disillusion? I mean, you. Don't. I thought you. I thought you're an avid fan of Captain Disillusion. I am and not, Beck, bro. And Beck, aren't you be. like um Get the sheriff? Notion from. And Beck, aren't you like the sheriff of? He's bad like known content? for video editing. What? Beck, aren't you the sheriff of bad content? Wow, you know? you know, I think I have a bad for that. Oh. Yeah, um, but mm. the thing is, I just, like, I'm getting to this vibe where it's like, I'm still, unfortunately, it's not, I don't think there will be this perfect adaption of this first book in total reality now. Maybe we'll have, after reception to this first season, I do think there are, we are getting pol- polarized in the way that the people who think it's really bad, it's not that bad. But people think like it's good. It's not even that good. It's kind of like fine. And so maybe maybe it'll be a better second season after reception. But I don't know. 
I was going to say, is the is the agency thing and how like things don't really feel like like it, it just kind of happens because it happens. Is that something that's in the book as well? No, I feel like in the in the in the book from because I read the books. And so from the book, I feel like they're they're always like they they always like the characters. They always feel like they're going to they're doing something like like they're they're always on like a mission where because like the thing in the book they they do this thing where like they have to do this deadline before the zeus starts a war with poseidon and yeah. in the in the show they got rid of the deadline and so now it feels like there's nothing to rush forward to mm. and it just now it just kind of feels like kind of aimless in a way but um mm. You guys yeah. don't know how hard it is for me. I have so many good transitions, but I don't. I can't use them. It's so sad. And so that's gonna be my review. Hopefully, the the rest of the books could do will be better, and maybe because. But this makes me kind of wonder, like, what's gonna happen for like the Harry Potter TV show? You know, well, that's that one will burn, probably bro. be bad. Yeah, because the movies are us- good. So, I yeah. hope none of us watch it. I mean, I'll watch I'm gonna it. watch it just to spite don't, you. No, don't watch it. I'm gonna watch it to review it. Probably, probably. I gotta watch it to review it. No, because to spite you. you think the, the point one cent that's going to Warner Brothers for my watch is really gonna make that big of a difference? It might. It's yeah. not. Wait, what is the issue with it? It's like the, the people that's uh, working on the video game. Like, oh, right, and she hates trans people. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, that, that's great for Nicola. He hates trans people as well. That's <laughs> not oh, good. <laughs> but no, in reality, it just kind of makes me wonder about the show. And so hopefully next season will be better. And maybe because, like, the, the last book, at least the last book in the first series, is pre- it's really gets up to a really good point. It's like it, it does have, like, the archetype of, like, you know, the chosen one, like a prophecy. So, mm. yeah. But Beck, if you want, actually, I kind of want to do. Um, let's talk about. Let's do um, an in focus story. You know. Ooh. Oh wow! Oh, do I we see have an in focus, focus story, story, or do we have another story All from right, a different film related of bad season one adaptations? Oh God! Avatar: The Last Airbender live action. Season one it hasn't come out yet. It hasn't come out, but already I'm planning my next in focus package will be that a review. Mm. Okay. So just know that I'm working on that. But okay. I do have three or kind of two in focus stories and then one school story I'll talk about with Nicola. Oh. So yeah. my Bojack package has finally aired. After like three no. months of waiting, with signature back editing, yes. with three months of like hard work, intense worry, um, editing and re-editing, re-editing fucking and worry, re-editing. watching H bomber guy worrying. Oh. All right, so we finally are. It premiered, and I swear this package had the least impact of any of the past ones I'd done. Oh, no, no. The one that you put, no. The one that I kind of put the most work into, like, no impact at all. One person came no. up to me and was like, I did not know the guy that made Bojack Horseman went here. That's cool. But for every other... So, so he didn't go there. He went yeah. to Gun. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, did I'm, you know what... I'm going to rip my mess out, out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Overall, the package... I think I'm just kind of glad to be past all of it. Wait, did he not go to Gun? He went to he Gun, one. but he I said he went to Pally. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, no. So this package that has just is... been on my mind the past three months. I'm glad to be done with it. Nice. Um, But yeah, least impact. So, I mean, that was... By that least impact, do you mean like nobody like talked to you about it? Like, no. I was like, that's a good package. Like for all the I ones, did. I had like five people coming up to me being like, "That's cool." Yeah, I did. Yeah, and so it. yeah. Okay, but and so yeah, but I apparently, yeah. apparently I focus. don't count. Apparently, I mean nothing to you. What did um? What did? What about your partners? What did they say about the final I, product? Um, I was sick the day after it aired, so I missed the period. That's after it, so probably never gonna come up again. 
Yeah, maybe they, they were about to hang you back. Wow. All right. Can he say that? No, literally, I all I did know. was, all I did was rewrite people? the plagiarized sections. Uh, all right. But now, next in past, focus story, this one's kind of a better one. I don't know okay. if you guys have heard of this, but I know Nicola has heard of Breaking Down the Walls. Uh, this has ha, been a big push from our principal to an event. Our lovely BK. Like seven hours, people just talk to each other and try to, you know, break down their walls and get to know each other better. And hey, he sorry, went, this is unrelated. Oh, no, never mind. Just kidding. I couldn't find my magnet for some reason. He disappeared. Such a good but, photo. Of but him. our principal was like, you know, I want to get half of the entire school to sign up for this thing. I was saying with that, he wanted to... No, it's, it wasn't half. It was just like, he. I want at least 1,000 people. Yes. That is half the school. Yes. Well, tell us what breaking down the wall <laughs> is, actually. So tell us what the breaking down the wall well, is. Breaking down the walls, all they was like, show one info video where it's like, you know, it's hard to hate someone whose story it's you just, know, which is kind of right. Team building exercises for like a couple. Yeah, team building hours. exercises and talking to other people. You get into groups, you talk about yourselves, and then you exchange right numbers. Down the walls on Google. And then you exchange numbers. Okay, you don't exchange numbers. Uh, some of the people oh, that I know, I, that I, did, I did. didn't, I didn't, I missed that. You, they might wait, have, but I think I have some sort it? of reference for this. So it's like a type of thing where you kind of build, like, kind of, I guess, trust exercises, kind yeah. of with people. I knew there was this thing in, um, in fucking maybe middle school. It was called Challenge, Challenge Day. No, no, yeah. no. Our principal, he hates that term. He's he's said like two different times. He Guys, said, this is this not is like not Challenge, Challenge Day. Day. At all. There will be no tears shed. There will be no sadness. This is only positivity, and this I is only fostering friendship. I don't You're remember what about Challenge your feelings. Is. I literally do not remember that. Challenge Day was a thing in, in middle school where it's like people got like invited. Um, like a bunch of people got invited to, I guess, skip school for like a little bit. And then you got to go into this room and there's a bunch of instructors and they kind of like tell you, like they, you get into groups and do some, like you talk about your feelings and stuff. There's things where like, you know, walk across the room. If you know, oh, yeah. your mother yeah, calls I mean, you stupid, school. if your yeah. mother calls you, if, if you're being abused by your parents, walk across the room or something. And then I'm not going to shit you. I think, I think I was one of two people that weren't crying in the entire room. Wow. And it would, everybody would be someone that it would cried. not be I did not cry when I did it, bro. Yeah. I don't everybody remember, else was don't bawling their that. fucking eyes out and I was like why did I leave school for this? This is so annoying. Okay. But yeah. for breaking down the walls. So our our teacher for in focus was like we need someone to film the teaching people like because it's student volunteers like run e each group so he's like mm -hmm. we need someone to go film footage of like the people of the teachers learning how to do break down the walls and you know what i thought this might be good podcast content so i uh, said yeah the the I'll, I'll go film so i use my third period prep to go film break down the walls. Um, and so I got a bit of insight into like what they're actually like taught to do. It's basically just a bunch of like activities of like, you know, like hold this pen and move around each other, or like say what you want to do um in your future. But yeah, just random team building stuff like that. But I want to work at Lockheed saying, Martin. I think that that literally would be Nicola. But yeah, no, there was some funny yeah, stuff. Like the guy be. was like, "Do not let any couples or friends inside of your group. Those will kill every single vibe in the group. If if you see one, please raise your hand, and I will come and break them up." Oh my god! Yo, yo, officer, they're smooching. No, <laughs> officer, like, they're holding the Arrest them! <laughs> they're having fun. <laughs> kill yeah, them there now! Are so many people that were like. Like, oh, I got the same period as my friend. And I was like, they don't know. They don't they know don't the know. guy is determined to end Holy every shit, single guys, friendship guys, in this group. Guys, 
they added the giant chicken to to Fortnite from Peter Family Guy. What? <laughs> All right, well... They added giant chicken. So we were filming there. We had our cameras, and we actually... Third period went directly into lunch that day, and if you did mm. break down the walls, you got free pizza. So one mm-hmm. of the main people in charge was like, oh, you, you can go grab some right. pizza if you want. Don't tell them that if you just get lunch on a day that they serve pizza, you can get free pizza that way That's also. That's crazy. Wait, how do, you, wait but how do you break down like a wall? What does that mean? It means yeah, like breaking down your broken? internal walls, Ari. It's not literal. Did they have to say, um, I broke down the wall, now I get pizza. No, you don't have oh, to yeah. do that. Um, But yeah, so we film, and then I go grab my backpack because I don't want to like sit with the other break down the walls people. And I'm standing in line, and then I hear a voice behind me. It's like, are you a part of this? I turn around. BK is standing right there. And I go into panic mode. And my panic Why? It's BK. He's friendly. And okay, look at his smile. And just saying, oh, yeah, no, we were filming for our folks. He's like, cool, you can have pizza. Nicola, I don't know if you realize this, but Beck Brent Klein is like a trigger for Beck Lyons. I don't know why. I swear, every time I see him, I'm like, wait, is he gonna recognize me? Is he gonna be he mad at me? He has a trauma response to seeing him. I still don't understand why, though. Bro, I am very awkward around a lot of people. Okay, you're just oh, awkward. I just remembered something. Like what? the free pizza just I... unlocked a memory from. Senior year last year, yeah. I would love to, I would love to tell it because it's actually really stupid. So, but I have my pizza and I I'll leave. tell that story in a little bit. Okay, but yeah, that was my breaking down the walls in focus <laughs> story. Nicola, do you want to do the film club story now or later? Let's do the film club story so now. I'm on a roll. And then we can do my story twice after. in this in the Celsius podcast Discord saying come to film club, <laughs> and I'm like, you know what. Yeah, uh, Nicola, he's been telling me to come to film club for like the past month. I show up there. Yeah, Nicola shows up 15 minutes later than I do. Like, I had to get lunch. I had to get lunch. I was hungry. Wow. You don't need to get so, lunch, bro. I bro. do because I'm going to rowing right after. Okay, but I show up there and this is guest speaker Betsy Franco talking. Yep. Yeah. Did you you knew about this beforehand, right? I did. Yeah, you told me that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because I, I even knew that. And she is like, she starts it by like going around and like asking everyone like, "Are you an artist?" And then there's like, "Yeah, no, I'm an artist. I do dance. I'm an artist. I do artistry." So like a bunch of I'm an artist. artist I, I, I think I was the only person in there. Who, okay, no, it was it was me, and I said, "Yeah, I do. Um, I want to do screenwriting." She's like. Cool, and then one other person um, said that he wanted to do screenwriting, but I'm the one who's actually like made a film in that entire group, which is shocking mm-hmm. me. Yeah, that's why you need to be club. there. I know because they have no members. Yeah. It's really sad. They but have no advertising. It goes to the normal I'll join thing. Them, don't worry. And then you should just show up one day. Eventually, be like, I, "Oh, I graduated." I it's actually illegal for me to go to campus when school. Nobody is would session. know. You still look like a kid. You would still it's pass true. for high schooler. That's why I did it that one time that Beck told, told me to come you on campus. You should go bring me, you should bring me, like, uh, no, 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 campus. you should bring me Molly Stone sandwiches. You know, I, I, went, I went on campus one or time, beer. instantly police came. Yeah. Yeah, because that's because, no, but that's because you're attracted to children. You did after school in the nighttime. Okay, I was yeah, still a student also there, but I was still a student there. No, yeah, but, but you're, you also, that's also because you're a pedophile, so. So true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just right. saying. Well, we Event, so eventually, like, she does a presentation. She talks about a movie that just hasn't a released yet. If she was talking about it, I'm like, That's oh, I, I wonder, can I watch this movie that she was talking about writing? Turns out it has not released yet, which is sad. It's about a Damn. um a drug addict in Pali. Or not in Pali, in Palo Alto. Oh, right. It was just, it just in Palo Alto. Yeah, yeah I'm just like, set in Palo Alto. I'm not is sure it her son? This, uh, no, it's a no, one. it's someone else. But was we, it me? No, we have all that, and then she goes around and just starts like asking people, like, "Has anyone ever submitted stuff to like a festival?" And then I raise my hand, I'm like, you know, I submitted my shit to, to Tampa. Tampa. Last year. And then someone, she, she someone, should know you because I told her about you. Yeah, someone um 
recognized eternal judgment from the film festival when I started describing it. But, Holy shit, uh, I'm in squad. I was also like, you know, recently, me and a couple friends, we each decided to, you know, make a film and show it to each other. So... Uh-oh. I, didn't, Uh-oh. I, didn't oh, I thought that. you were, I thought you were like... Showed it to her. I did not show her the murder of Al Urbickson. I thought it would be Don't worry, really my funny. Mom liked it. And then I realized maybe this wouldn't be the best to show. Yeah, to show to an actual filmmaker who yeah. might be a good mine. Movie. Mine's actually like funny good, but like not the like poli- the best. Yeah. But eventually the period ends. And then Betsy Franco looks at me and is like, Can I get your number? Yeah, oh, he wow. rizzed up Betsy Frank. <laughs> oh, wow. So I got the same prize that the winners of Pampa did last year. Just by talking to her and saying that you've made films before? Yes. Wow, you can meet so many cool people like James Franco and no. Dave Franco. No. <laughs> he can also, he can probably also rizz up James Franco, I could say. All right. But that was the film club story. And I, pro- oh, no, no, no. Second, I, for, I forgot to mention this. When I mentioned Pampa, I was like, are we doing it again this year? And the I think that was the leader of the club saying like, you know, that was yeah, um, no, a yeah, good thing last year. But we, we should try to do it. I'm like, is Pampa not happening this year? I have so yeah. many plans. No, we can, we kind of, of convince them to do it. A lot of different bits that I could do and films I've made. I'm saying we should actually do a, we should all Pampa. work together as a podcast to make one. I would like film to, if it. I could, I would submit a film to Bampa this year. Yeah, no. Nicola, That's what I'm saying. We should you, all work together and make one. Even Wait, if, Aiden, even you know if what you I should do? do all the planning mm. myself, I will do. I will Aiden, make, make a movie and then say your sister made it. And yeah. That's true. Yeah. Pretend she I did would, it. Yeah. That way I can, that way I won't miss out on the award because I'm a guy. Yeah, you're like, oh, I was in the true. movie. I was in your movie. So yeah. yeah. All right. And um and do so, it Kanye and just rip the award out of the whoever won. And so and... Beck, I think you know what you should do? You should do you should organize Pampa. I you know? should, bro. I literally should. Yeah. The only problem with that is if I host it, I don't think I can win any of the awards. That's no, fine. but you can no. show storming. I could host it then, technically, and just give very biased uh, award. No, yeah. I, I think at that point I'd host it yeah, and then be content with not ever winning a pampa yeah i know but dude i mean aren't i, I a good host that would be my biggest life's mistake i was you good know, at I'm our oscar my oscar i'm holding my two emmys but i never got the pampa you know <laughs> yeah oh, oh, oh. when beck wins best director at the oscars one time he's gonna be like this is good but not enough fuck you video production teacher you did not let me have a pampa, my pampa. mr ed Wow. I'm sorry, Mr. EC. ED, yeah, what do you have? Is it decision. eating disorder? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was. Oh. Just, but yeah. That is all my stories for this. Okay, can I tell my story that I remember? Yeah, no, that it's I the free pizza story. All right, so there was this one time that I had won an award. I got an email from the school. They said, You won an award for being. Story. Have I told this before? You told me. I think it you have. It's there for it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, you were there. You know, recap us. Tell us. Yeah, you know. All right. So I, rem- I remembered. I was like, I got, a, I got an award, and I was like, wow, an award for being good at something. Come to, come to the what to the plaza and sit in a chair, and you get free pizza and an award, and the award is like twenty dollars. That that'll be shipped to your house. That's I'd actually got it. Cool. I guess I'm good at things. And I went there and I sat down. I'm like, wow, I wonder what that's I want. entrapment. But it was it was like awards for like different subjects chosen by teachers. Mm. Oh, I totally have told this story. I now remember telling this story on the podcast before. <laughs> it's too late. You, you have to you continue. Keep going. Like we're already in. It's not like I remember story. it. To be honest, I was really thinking about it earlier today for some reason. Wow. But <laughs> Uh, I remember now because I remember I we I thought I got shafted by uh by Corpus. That's why, that's why I remembered that I've told it before. Um, but basically, it was teachers for like each respective department of the school choosing awards for students. It was like you get an award in al- in like math because you're good at math, and then it was just 
listing those off. And I sat there the entire 40 minutes waiting for them to call my name, and they never did. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and so I talked to the whatever the guy. Yeah. What's his guy? Who? What's his face? The guy that tried to buy your lunch one time, Nicholas? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The assistant. Yeah, so I, talked I don't, know, I don't know his name either. <laughs> Vice principal, I, assistant principal, something. I talked to someone important, yeah. and I said, "Hey, where's me award, man?" And he said, "I don't know." No, no, no. Well, he, was you guy, say, he was like, "I you don't know." This well, award, no. let's just figure it out because he didn't. He didn't want you to feel bad about not having actually gotten it. He was like, "I." He well, said, email, "I don't know." I am one hundred percent sure you mom. deserve one of these awards. We'll just figure it out. They emailed my parents. They said, "Hey, this your kid won an award. Come yeah. to the pally yeah, to watch them win an award." But then you know, boss fight came. Out. It, doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't say for what though. Mm. Wait, just, this was you, Aiden. This is the Rachel T. Austin award. Yes, it yes. is. That, that's what it was. I won that. Yeah, you know. And I'm gonna tell you. It, 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 then it didn't exist. I hope I and can so, win it. So you didn't get your twenty bucks, right? I didn't nope. get anything. They so, didn't ship anything to my house. They couldn't find my name, but they were. I was like, "Hey, you emailed me though." So, like, what gives? Now I'm going to tell right. my story of the Speaking Rachel of Dawson not Award. Being able to find someone's Wait. name. Hold Back. on, we're still going. I need to say my Rachel T. Austin Award story. Oh, which he's probably also told already. But I like, won. I won away. the Rachel T. Austin Award in like ninth grade for excellence in graphic design, and I'm pretty wow. sure I just got that because like I did so bad in the graphic design class. The teacher, I think, kind of felt bad for me. He said he has to get something you know, for those. I hope I hope my <laughs> digital art spec teacher feels the same way because I'm failing that class so much. <laughs> and, and so. They were like, you know what? You get twenty bucks in like in the it'll be sent to your house. I was like, yeah, I get twenty bucks. Wow, that's all. Oh yeah, that's like good. And then they never send me the twenty bucks. Do they, they never, never send, send twenty bucks. And, no. And then oh, and then and then I was I emailed. Them. I was like, yo, where's my money? I was like, oh, we'll we'll sort that out, you know. And I was like, they never did. They never sorted and it. then I, I re I re I restarted the investigation in eleventh grade. And I was like, you know, Tweet this award, this like I know COVID happened, but like I never got my money. And it's like and then the teacher was all like, you know what? I'm gonna get right on that. They I never, never got my money. All right. All right. You oh, should have gone and personally extorted If you the keep principal. emailing them every week, you'll eventually get it. Sure. Yeah. When I it's like when I get redemption. when I get the Oscar, I'm gonna say fuck Palo Alto High School, <laughs> fuck Palo Alto High School. Dude, they never gave him his twenty bucks. They no, let him have someone get shot in the head in, during the film festival. They let no. me say swears. They no, let not him swears. Don't be aired. I speaking of saying swears. <laughs> No, but no, I thought I thought mine was the best one of not being able to find the one. name. Cause is that, that okay. cause like in the start of episode five they can't find the name in the book. No, this is no, I just <laughs> mine is better. Okay, you guys talk about Hasbun Hotel. I'll be back. Guys, we all watched Hasbun Hotel. We We're did all, all watch it. I think guys, we got a it's good actually songs for April first this year. It's actually good. Music and good animation and good writing. It's yeah. a good show, turns out. Yeah. I like that the music is like during the most important scenes. I feel like that's really good. It's almost like it's a musical. Yeah, back. they convey so much plot to the songs. Mm-hmm. It's like it's almost like it's a musical. Yeah. Back. Wow. Um, well, okay, it's almost so- like they have a very strong structure where they have two songs per episode, and one of them is like fun, and the other one is like pure plot. Yeah. True. Um. Yeah. Wait. That is a good system. But so what do we you want to, to say do about episode it? by episode talking about it? Sure. We talked about yeah. uh, Nicola. You talked about the first episode last week, or someone did. Yep. Yeah. Uh, episode right, two. So, Aiden. So there's these characters. They're called the V's. There's Valentino and yep. Valent. Val. Val. Val there's Valentino and and. Of Box. and He's a TV. And Varanus and Vox. I don't mm. know who the third one is. Yeah. Yeah. And so basically, Vox is like, wow, Alistair's back and he's the radio guy, but I hate that guy. And then he sings a song about yeah. it. And it was really good. Yeah. He says, 
Welcome back. Is that all that How happened? I think that's all that happened. That, that is that literally all that happened. Uh, like, no, no, no. The um, yeah. the worm guy. What's his name again? Uh, Serpentius. Serpentius. Works for them also. He comes to the hotel, and I really it's like Valentino, him. It's Valentino Vox and Velvet. That's what it is. I feel like it's all of Velvet. the like main characters are really fun. <laughs> yes, I do it's also so well. Fun. I enjoy all of. Them. Uh, Vaggy. I don't. <laughs> I I never vibe with her. <laughs> Is it because yeah, she's Hispanic? Because they never flush her she out. Just, she never shows up most of the time and she never does anything. They like, didn't flush her out enough. Episode three and like episode six. Yeah, episode three, barely. they start to try to flush her out, and episode six, they were really trying to build episode, her up. Episode three is <laughs> the trust so building. Quickly. One. Yeah, I just, they, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was, that was other probably other been something really fun to watch. Especially I think part of the issue is that it's all compressed. Yeah, is it's almost like cool. he's everybody's favorite. That's that he always has like a radio one. filter on his voice is really cool. He's Arrow Ace. It used to be better, I think. All right, but you know, you know, Alistair's Ace, right? Probably episode three. No, they not do probably. Trust he is. It's exercises. canon. And the eggs um, go to a meeting, and they're like. You killed the angel. And they're like, this guy wanna, killed an angel. I don't want to fight heaven because then a lot of people would die in war. I think they're True. saying war is bad. All right. Yes, they it do says say who. war. Nicola, you do number four. Number four. I uh, oh, because it's, uh, it's about a topic that he really enjoys doing. Number four is about... Uh, 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 what was that? Give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Ah, uh, that's the that's masquerade. That's certainly an episode. He's scrolling through the... uh, so, so, so. Okay, there you go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. So basically, opening of the episode, we have V show. Uh, I mean, Angel shows one of his sex tapes, and he's like, "Aren't I good?" And then Husk is like, "You guys are all suck. You guys are all insecure, and you guys all have issues." Which is and great. then they're all like. No, uh, those are just quirks. So true. And then they're and then va- and then Charlie's kind of depressed because her stuff isn't with working. Nicola's like recaps is he will just go scene by scene. Nicola, we don't need a scene by scene I'm recap. Scrolling through. What broad do you think I'm strokes. doing? Broad strokes. Broad strokes. Okay. Like five okay, minutes sure. Broad stroke. One sentence, Nicola. Broad stroke is then uh, uh Angel the then goes. Can, Nicola. And then Angel, I, def- I can't fucking do it if you keep interrupting me, bitch. <laughs> so then Angel goes to uh the to, goes to Valentino to do his shooting, and he's you know doing the shooting. But then Charlie goes in, and she kind of screws stuff up because Angel's soul belongs to Valentino. She leaves. She's kind of depressed. And then we have a nice song that we got poison. Um, then we have nice. Charlie. I don't know why you said huh? it's a nice song. <laughs> it's not a nice song. Yeah, it's a, I, okay, I mean nice like it's a good song. Mm, yeah. Nice as in good. Yeah, but what's not the song? Not as in like it's what's a nice song. song? Him being fucking sexually abused? Yeah, okay, cool. And being a sex slave? Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty nice song. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, so then, uh, Charlie gets, uh, Husk to go to the bar where Angel is at. Angel's trying to get himself drugged, or no, him, it's her, herself drugged. No. It's, it's a girl, yeah. right? It's just it's voiced a, by a guy. It's a, it's a guy. Really? It's, a guy. Yeah. it's voiced by a guy. I think she, he, she. It's supposed to be. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, a, it's a guy. It's a guy. They, yeah, they are trying to get their drink spiked and uh, taken away, but Husk stops them, and then she starts being depressed on the sidewalk because he's like, "My life is worthless." And then Husk delivers the greatest musical hit in cinema. History. I mean, that's not he, true, considering yeah, you watched know. Beauty and the Beast earlier okay, this week. I do think I the know. song is, like, really good, especially, like, it's, the it is a of them really just being like, song. we're not so different, let's be friends. And I like how they end it with, they're fucking singing. <laughs> yeah. It makes it, but that kind of canonizes the fact that it's, like, not even, like, like singing, like, it, they are literally just yeah, singing. Literally just singing. Yeah, Which means, for some reason, for other- some reason, that means it's canon that everybody in this world just start, that everybody with power in this world just starts singing whenever they feel like they're emotional. I thought we knew that, funny though, as hell. with, like, Charlie and her singing. I mean, yeah, but we thought that, I thought that was kind of weird. Okay, one thing uh, that's weird to me is, that's like, bad episode. Some, like, some of the songs are just not on the album. Like, they didn't put Poison yeah. on the album, and they didn't put Happy yeah. Day in Hell on the album. 
That yeah, one, that's because those that ones one, were released before. Yeah, it was. Happy Day in Hell is on it. I'm pretty no, no, sure. No, they have um, uh, what's the what's the one Adam sings? They have that one, but they don't have um the one where she's like walking oh, down the road. Being yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's because those two were released early, so they didn't put them in the playlist. Yeah, I, I don't guess. think they do like a big season one long app. They probably will yeah. when it's done. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh, next, we want to talk about Short King. What? Dad oh, beat yeah, Dad. Short King. Oh yeah, um, but yeah, that one I gotta say is like by the best yes. one so far. I think mm, two maybe like plot like I don't know. I think the plot and the songs go. It's good. definitely a good episode. I really like Lucifer. He's definitely a short king. Oh no, no, I'm not. I'm not saying episode five is the best. I'm saying episode four is the best. Oh, yeah. episode four is in uh the as loser masquerade. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masquerade is definitely the best. I'm not saying that one is the best one, but episode five. Okay, that makes more sense. Episode five. Episode five it's, is it's a Lucifer bit weaker. Would, and he comes to the hotel, and he's like, "You know what? I gotta." I was kind of hoping me, he wouldn't really this. be. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't be a comic relief character. I was kind of hoping he would be like an actual kind of like. I did not expect like a boss, Satan like to be in like, charge, like acting like that. You know. I kind of -uh. clearly you don't know the lore of this world. He's not Satan. Lucifer. Satan's a different dude. He's Lucifer. Okay, yeah, I don't sorry. even remember. If you read the wiki, Lucifer, Satan, and and uh uh I don't know. I but those two are different people, and I don't know why, but they are. Okay. But yeah, he's like, you know, my daughter hates me. I gotta I gotta fix this for her. And they go yeah. and they talk and they're like, you know what? We're actually like go a good. You're not so different, you and I. Daughter, because for some reason her mom left like six years ago. I think they'll talk about that in later seasons. But I, I mean, they make up and it, her dad. No, because like, this I, I, I saw this over. Meeting with heaven. To she talk. her the mom disappeared like left at a similar time that Alistair disappeared because they both around six seven years ago, like. And I think that's going to be a plot point. You, maybe. I mean, hopefully, like the backstories. I I do think that's going to turn out. Alistair, Alistair killed her mom, and no. then they're going to be enemies, mm. and they're going to be fighting in the final episode. I'm calling it now. Damn. They're, yeah, they're going to set that up in two episodes. I doubt it. Exactly. That's more like something they set up over like seasons. I don't even know how they're gonna. I don't even know how they're setting up the angel thing in two episodes since they've had about one and a half episodes. Oh yeah, on it, no, basically. okay. Um, and then episode five, it's like I don't know. Alistair's friend comes to the hotel, but oh no, she's running away from loan sharks. But then Alistair's like, I'm gonna kill the loan sharks. But then Alistair's he, like, he I'm gonna let sharks. loose, and then he just kills them. Yeah. So. And then she's and then he's like, get, get out of here. Six, I'm having, yeah. the most recent of. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll do episode six. The so, heaven episode. Welcome to so heaven. Charlie gets her deal uh, with her dad, and her she gets to go to heaven, and she brings Vaggie with her, and they go to heaven, and they're, they uh, are there to dispute uh, in the court of law uh, what that um, sinners should be allowed to go to heaven. Yeah. They reform. Uh, they're and they can do that via has been hotel. And so they go to court. Well, before actually, uh, Charlie leaves the room and uh, Adam comes in. He's like, Hey guys, it's me, Adam. Vaggie, you're actually an angel the whole time and you were lying. Uh, bye bye, leaves. And then they're in court. And well, it wasn't just that. He also was like, I'll blackmail you. Yeah. Yeah. But that was it. And then they go to court and Charlie's like, Okay, so. What gets you into heaven? And Adam's like, oh, 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 these three oh. things. And then Charlie's like, okay, here's the B plot, which is also, which is uh, uh, Angie being a good person. And then they're like, look, Angie did all three things that Adam said, which means he should be allowed to go to heaven. And they said, no, so we, no one knows the rules about who they gets said, into heaven. Uh, probably, but no. Uh. Yeah, and, and then they, they break into like, who goes up. and then they break into a giant big plot song that lasts a long time and has like four separate reveals in it. It does. It's true. So basically, they're killing them, and most people don't know that they're killing them for the fun of it. Yeah, uh, and then yeah. it's revealed that Vaggie is an angel. 
And, and then the episode ends. Yeah, and then they are kicked, and they have one month left before Heaven goes and kills them again. Yep. Um. So overall, I think it's going good so far. I, yeah, really I think like it's definitely for, it has... for an indie project that has been picked up by a massive studio. It is definitely oh, wait, really we good. We got to talk about the pilot because I finally watched it. Oh, and, like, that's it good. Connects. I also watched the pilot. I watched I it first. I cannot imagine why didn't this put that as episode one. I don't because know why. It makes it so much better if you did. Details and it's such like, a good... It's not like a bad episode either. You need it to like, like, understand... Rework it at like, least. Yeah, yeah. Rework, reanimate it maybe a bit. But like it has like the plot of like she decides to make the hotel. It has the extermination in it. It has the Alistair joins in late and that um husk and the what's her what's the maid's name um Nifty. 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 my favorite character yeah. but, like, is they're, the they're, best like, kind of controlled far. by alistair but like it has like stuff you need to know before starting this show i don't yeah. know who thought you know a, a random like person's going on prime video who thought the season would only be eight episodes long when they're going to try to do so much lore in one season i don't know but they have a whole nother series that they can do lore in, though, so it it's fine. It is cool that they are, like, um, like, doing week by week for eight weeks. That would have been painful. Yeah. Like, this, this is a show I think you could literally drop all at one time and it'd be fine. Um, but... Yeah, but you, one, get, you get some fun watching every week, no, no, you know? Yeah, well, ne- only one more week. Yeah, and I watched all okay. of it in one night, so... Yeah. Um, wait, have any of you guys ever okay, watched The Good talk. Place? No. Yes. Yeah. Who said yes? Or, said yes. This show reminds me a yeah. lot of it with, like, the whole, like, like, what yeah. does it take to get into heaven and, like, trying to redeem uh, souls? So it's a lot yeah. like that. It reminds me of. It has a philosophy kind of, like, view to it. Yeah. Kind of. Like, what does it mean to yeah. be, like, a good person? Can people, like, become better, per- better yeah. people? Yeah. For some reason, I don't. This isn't a knock against the show or anything. It just reminds me of Star versus. I don't know why. You do get that with like all the demon designs and stuff. It, it is kind of really. It feels like Star versus, like the animation style reminded me yeah. of it. For some what reason, what is Star versus? Star versus the forces of evil. I watched oh, like one season. That's bad one, yeah. I watched all of it and thought it was good until the last season, which is pretty much yeah, everyone's opinion on that. it. Yeah. Because it's I true. Know, because the that. show is good up until the last season. What happened in the last season? Uh, it's all about the racism. And, oh, and they, that sounds fun. And they shaft the main villain, and they oh. shove in an, uh, an unmeaningful love triangle thing between the main characters, and all the sacrifices made were pointless, and it was just bad. Mm. You got it wasn't good. sacrifices. That's a great plot point. Everyone loves that. Why do no animations know how to do a final season, except for BoJack Horseman? And Owl House. Oh, no, man. Wow. Owl. And, Nicola uh, actually and, defending uh, the Owl and, House. Uh, and uh, what's the other one that was canceled by Netflix? Inside, Inside Job. Job. Well, is there anything and, you want to uh, say about the Hasbro Hotel? Uh, Blue Eyes Samurai. That one? It's not canceled yet. They already greenlit season two. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm kidding. You're yeah, just okay. a great I'm just, no, I'm just saying good, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. just good wait, wait, wait. animation. It's a Netflix show, right? Yeah. And they greenlit a season two, yeah. you say? Yeah, so you mean they didn't greenlit anything, right? Exactly, of because of inside job. Shows, so it's it's inside, inside job. Inside job. Season two. They they greenlit season two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guess what? They greenlit they greenlit season two <laughs> of an, <laughs> inside job, and they greenlit season three of the Cuphead show. And guess what? We didn't get jack shit of any of those. Actually, guess you know what we didn't talk guess about? What? They hate animation. Back, we you know that Bojack Horseman? It. it didn't. It did eventually just get canceled, I mean, no, Bojack, no. after... But it ran it did long it. enough. Yeah. It did. It was and the ending kind was of really running good. out of steam yeah. by the end of it. But it was good. I have something that we can talk about, because we didn't talk about this last time, and we have like 15 seconds. Uh, you know what we finally got? We got the release date for the next half of season... March Invincible. 16th. Now, Aiden actually gets crabs fries. 
Aiden can actually get so, caught up. How does it take to, you know, it's been Aiden, six months since the you know, first You can also get act. caught up for the Avatar live action season one, so we could <laughs> yeah, talk about I, it. I will. Don't worry. We'll get there. You know, on episode three. We'll get I yeah, guess we can talk about something. I can talk about what. Watching both all of Avatar, then all of Korra, and then and the, then all of Animal House. No, and then and then the live action M Night Shyamalan movie, just to like make sure I have a cr the critical mindset to analyze the show. Yeah. But yeah, so that's gonna, that's but, gonna um, be you're gonna hear a wait, lot so of Avatar okay. stuff for the next month. Great. I think I can talk about something that I finished that was yeah. really good. I'll try to do it a little bit quicker than I did for episode one, but nice. I have nine episodes to wait, talk before about. We, wait, Nicola, before we get into Silo, I do want to quickly go... I No, I want to I wanna go through a few categories of the Oscars and say what um we think's going to win and no, what we want to win. I don't want to do, no, do like, the, like no. the week before. Do you want to do that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the nominations. I do think no, we, we really... should do like Fine. an in-person Oscars thing if you guys can. Yeah, we yeah, should. I, mean, I can do if, that. If Uri, <laughs> if Uri can't, would you guys? Still Uri want can. To... Uh, Uri can call in. Yeah, we I can mean, put him on a spring break. Uri, it's it's near ours. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. But I'm fine. We can move on to Silo, um, Nicola. Something really funny. I've been watching this show with my parents. And after finishing episode one, we were. I told my parents, "Hey, I like the show. We all like the show. Let's watch it together. Please do not watch it without me." One day later, I come back. I like. Then I, we watched on Monday, Tuesday. I don't have time in the evening, so Wednesday in the evening, I said, "Okay, let's watch it." Turns out they watched episode two and three on Tuesday without me. Oh I'm you, but the opposite. I cannot, I will always watch shows behind people's back and be like, ooh, yeah. the plot was too engaging. I, I couldn't. Luckily, it was really, luckily so wait, Becky, you I just had a little, with your parents? I had a little yes, help. Screw you, watch by yourself. <laughs> luckily, I had a little help. I have something called Wikipedia. You fucking. That breaks down. Every no. episode. So I Dude, can no. read TikTok what gave happened. Episode recaps in under a minute with an AI generated voice. And episode three. I have no episode two and episode three to look at because I didn't have time to watch it. So you know what happened in episode one? Let's. I'll try to do broad strokes. Try to do it quickly. Episode two. Holston, who's the who's the husband, who's the sheriff, um, meets the Ju meets Juliet. Keep mind in Juliet because she's going to become the, the main character after this episode. Uh, she is an engineer. She is working on the generator that is basically what supplies power for the entire silo. Um, they are looking for historical relics. Relics are stuff that existed before the silo, or at least before the rebellion in the silo. Um, George learns that her that his that Allison was working with uh, George, who is the guy that gets these relics. They uh, work together to find something. A few months later. Holston decides to leave the silo. He says, I want to go outside. And he goes outside and he finds that it's just as green and lush as Allison said it would be. He takes off, he cleans the camera, takes off his helmet, and on camera appears to crawl to Allison's body before dying. Mayor, the mayor then, set, then learns that he left behind a statement nominating Juliet to be his replacement as sheriff. And Juliet knows that George was looking for this massive metal door that was in the blueprints. So he, she's trying to find that. Wait, 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 Nicola, can I Next pause you here? Yeah. So wait, he took, we saw like in, in on the movie him taking off the helmet, but then it cuts to the TV screen and then he's crawling to the body. Uh, I think you see him through the camera, clean the screen and then take off his helmet. But and then he collapses and crawls never, towards like, Allison. We only see it through the camera. We, don't we only see, see we only see it through a camera. We never actually see outside. Okay. We never actually no because we do get a shot from like inside his helmet where he sees outside is green and lush. Ah, okay, got it. So, but he still, but on camera, he takes off his helmet and crawls to the body. Wow. And then from the rest of the show, we're following Juliet. Wow. Episode three: the mayor and the deputy. Go all the way down 144 levels to meet Juliet since he's the new nominee. 
And uh, along the way, the mayor meets her father, who has not talked to Juliet for like 60 years or like for like 20 years. They have not talked in a very long time. Mm-hmm. Who is Dr. Pete Nichols and also talks to her engineer, to her engineering friend. These are all like to get judges on her character to see if she's a good person. Um, she, she then finds her and offers her a role. However, Judge Meadows, who's the head of Judicial, and Bernard Bernard Holden, head of IT, do not want to give her the role. No. However, and even then, even on top of that, Julia didn't even want the role. But no. Holston left her his badge. And on the back Ooh. of the badge, he carved in truth. And because she saw that, that convinced her to become become uh the sheriff because she knows what what an ambiguous sign just truth no no because they had a conversation before where he's like he's like i'm gonna go out i'm gonna go look for the truth and if i find it i'll send you a sign i guess that was the sign truth so then the rest of the show is julia trying to find out what holston figured out i guess basically why why are you just like we have green land outside yeah because he he didn't have that much time and also because he knew they're they're watching them uh they have whispers in the silo. That's a big thing. I mean, everybody thinks there's whispers in the silo, which is basically like basically spies. Every like every single person could mm. be a spy. They could be spying in on you. Um, Juliet asks one thing before she becomes sheriff. She asks to shut down the generator so that she can fix it before she leaves because it's like it's been malfunctioning. She wants to fix it. It's never been shut down before, but she knows she can fix it if they shut it down. So they do it and they fix it, but. Just as the generator shuts down, all of the monitors showed the outside to be green for like a split second before going back to normal. But Whoa. nobody seemed to notice. Do we, wow. Does the character then, see that it's green? Hmm? Does the, no, does nobody, like, nobody, nobody notices that it turns green, but it does turn green for a second. But the camera and, like, sees the, it. The, the camera sees it. The camera sees it, yeah. Ah. Um, then we, we go back to... Uh, the deputy and the mayor, and they confess their love for each other because I've been neglecting a love arc. Uh, Good. But then they, but then mayor, the mayor dies. No. From blood pouring out of her mouth. Turns it's out, so- next episode, she was poisoned. No. And I- she believes, and I- the deputy believes he was the ex- the expected target because they drank each other's water. They didn't drink their own water because it's easy because the way the water is stored on the suit, it's on your back. So it's easier to drink your partner's water than drinking your own. Mm. So he decided to do that. Uh, as he did that, Bernard, who Bernard's an important character, he's the head of IT, uh, now becomes the new mayor because like in the way the rules work, uh, he's like next in line. So he becomes the new mayor and swears Juliet in as the new sheriff. Uh. Then... Juliet asks Marnes to help investigate George because Juliet and George are dating, except George is dead. Uh, mm. I forgot it. I forgot it. I'm like, you know, I love these plot too. recaps where like 20 different names are said and I can like not even keep track of half of them. No. Yeah. And they're all dead. Yeah. Says, I forgot to mention. <laughs> and I yeah. mention there's like these four people, they have a love. Love it's because I'm trying to, to I'm really trying to do broad strokes. I'm really trying to do broad strokes, but then if I do broad strokes, I miss one thing that's important because it's a small detail, it, but it it's is fine, important. Nicola, it's fine. Uh-huh. Yeah. Julia. Uh then Marn then uh after looking to find George's and research Jane's death as like the mayor's death as well as George's death, um, Robert Sims, who works for Judicial tells Marnes that Judge Meadows is ready to remove Juliet as sheriff, but Marnes tells mm-hmm. him that she's just going to quit on her own, so there's no point in doing it. So mm-hmm. then, in the evening, Marnes is attacked in his apartment and killed. Juliet meets Lucas, who's just somebody that lives in, the, who's just constantly in the cafeteria, and uh, Juliet finds Holston's, the, finds the, like, the previous sheriff's Holston uh, file on George, but cannot find the hard drive that George had from episode one. And then we have a flashback to Juliet uh, when she was a kid and how uh, her brother died and her mother died and then she ran away from home. Then we have a big episode. This one's called The Janitor's Boy. That's an important title. You'll find out why later. Janitor's Boy, okay. The Janitor's Boy. So we now find out that the deputy Marnes is dead. 
Paul Billings, Judicial's original choice for sheriff, is made Juliet's new chief deputy. Uh, Sandy, who works in the sheriff's office, tells Juliet to find Mar Marn's killer before Judicial finds a, spe a, spe a scapegoat because Judicial cares more about like keeping peace inside the silo than actually finding the truth. That's why th this entire show, it's like, it's all about finding truth. Like it's a big like truth That's versus important. the greater good, basically. Like truth wow. versus order. Wow. Is the truth worth it if it if it disrupts the greater if it like disrupts the order and causes harm? Yeah, Stuff I mean like that's that. not that's kind of seems uh, like a big theme in like kind of like sci-fi type of yeah, stories. Yeah. You know, it's like a yeah, yeah. like uh, Sims tells yeah. Uh, Doug Trumbull is this one person who has been working for Sims, who's been shadowing him, and he planted evidence to frame Patrick Kennedy for for uh, the deputy's murder. Wow. Sims tells mm -hmm. tells that tells Doug that his father was a janitor, but in secret, jan those janitors were behind us. If you go into the janitor's closet, they were the most. He said, "All he says is they were the most important people. They kept all ten thousand people alive." Wow! And he says, "If you go beyond that door, your life will change forever." And then he says, and he says, "But." you don't have what it takes to be my shadow. But then later on, he recalculates it and he says, you do, you're ready to be my shadow. You want to see what's behind the door? And Trumbull says, yes. And then Symes kills him. No way. Because... Fucking because really he's like baiting us on like all these reviews. Because Trumbull is, because Trumbull is uh, not good at his job. He kind of deserved to I get killed. I feel like every other person he dies. He's very sloppy. Yeah, people die a lot. There's like 10 murders over the course of one week in the show. That's like part of the, that's like the whole point. Like towards the end, every, like you can feel the tension. Like everybody in the silo is kind of apprehensive because people have been dying and like it doesn't usually happen in the silo. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Syme kills Doug before Doug can be arrested because Doug was already going to be arrested because he was kind of caught. That's one of the reasons why Syme is going to kill him. And, and uh, Doug is then blamed for Marnes and Jane's death. Uh, but Juliet finds out that Lucas, who's the guy from the cafeteria, has been studying these weird lights that he can see outside the monitor, which we know are stars. But he's like plotting the stars, basically. And it's just like a cool detail to see how people are like rediscovering the world past when we have like no technology on it. Mm. Uh, then uh, one of the things they did find when looking for the hard drive was a camcorder. But they looked at it, and for some reason, it was much more ex much more advanced than what was permitted inside the silo. Like it would be illegal to have because it's too advanced. Mm. For some they reason. found cam girls. Damn. No, like a cam, like a cam. Okay. <laughs> and then Juliet does find one of George's relics in the hope of reopening an investigation of his death. Basically, she was going to plant that stuff, and then because it's connected to George, it'll reopen the case on George. Because right now, judicial uh, Judge Marnes, basically, or whatever the judge person for judicial said said no leave it alone he's done there's like a Don't full a full a full like law and order yeah. system within this yeah. dialogue and yeah that... the reason it's called the jan the episode's called the janitor's boy is because symes is called is the son he's the son of the janitor the next episode's called the relic and now this entire episode's about julia trying to find the uh, relic trying to find it's about planning the relic and trying to find people so and also just finding other relics so she plants the relic and uses an excuse to find the relic dealer, Regina Jackson, who used to be Georgia's ex, her, her boyfriend's ex. Mm. Funny how that works. Mm. Uh, I don't know any of these characters. Yeah, you really need to watch the show. It's, just, it's actually yeah. so good. You know, uh, I think I, and would, then I know the plot of all of the episodes. It's not hey, really, it's about though. the journey back, not the not destination. Really, though. Not, not the really, journey. though. Not really. I mean, I know the journey. I write Wikipedia and I still watch it. And I was better than Wikipedia. I'm just going to say. I still would watch it even if you know the lore. Even if you know the story. The lore. Uh, lore. Yeah. Not the lore. And Julia claims that uh, then she doesn't find, she didn't plant, she claims that she didn't plant the relic, but he orders her to stop uh, investigating Doug's motive for murdering James and Barton and Marnes. It's the deputy and the mayor. Uh, Juliet and Billings argue over her difficulty in trusting him. And she reveals that she that she knows that he has the syndrome. The syndrome is like a medical condition that's like, like you have muscle spasms, you have like sharp pain, and typically it would make you like unable to be a deputy. But he got an exception for it. Uh, Regina told Juliet that she doesn't have the hard drive, 
but did tell, but and didn't tell judicial, but she did tell the man who knows everything about everything. The janitor. Because, because that man threatened her and all of her loved ones every evening. Like every evening she'd show up and like every single person she talked to that day, he would threaten them at that, that night before she fell asleep. Damn. Um, but she, uh, Juliet does find one thing, a cherished children's travel book, which is like pictures of how the world used to look like, like a forest and a beach and stuff like that. And it like lets her see what it wants. It like kind of, she starts to understand why people have started to go out. While Juliet browses the book, depart- the book in the, her apartment, she is watched by a surveillance team that has numerous cameras all over the silo with equipment much more advanced. Like everything we've seen of computers have been like the thick computers. All the cameras yeah. we've seen have been like very big. But then we get to see a really high definition photo on flat inch TVs Ooh. inside this room. Then we find out in the next episode that this is all run by Symes. So this is what this is what's behind the room. And th- this is what's yeah. behind the janitor's room. Mm. This is what's behind the janitor's door. It's the it's where they're spying on everybody. So basically, they monitor everybody to keep law and order. Juliet seeks out Gloria, who was the fraternity counselor from the first episode, who told them that they weren't supposed to have kids because they didn't want us to have kids. Mm-hmm. And they find and Julia finds out that her mom was supposed to be a flame keeper. Flame keeper were a group of people who were like trying to remember the past but they were being like systematically wiped out by literally just like making sure they can't have kids. Okay. Um, uh, and Juliet remembers something Holston told her. Holston told her, remember, double the, double the flowers in front of the mirror. She finds out why. It's because all the cameras are hidden behind all of the mirrors. So she's so by putting double the flowers, you get to hide behind the, hide the footage so you can't be seen. And she finds out that in Gloria's room is the high hard drive. She founds the hard drive. Whoa, fuck. And that hard drive is like the big thing because that has everything on it. That like yeah. has like why. That's like the, the first episode we just have it and we find and then they see it and they go out. But the entire rest of the episode, the season is just trying to find out where, like why. Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. Episode eight, Hannah. Judicial, because they have the cameras, they know that she found the hard drive. They run in and try to find her. They search the sh- the, her office for the hard drive, but can't find it. Juliet uses Billing's knowledge of the pact to arrest Sims, because technically Sims did an unlawful search. So, but while Sims is in custody, Juliet searches his office and finds files on Hannah, Walker, and Shirley Campbell. Hannah's file also confirms that judicial surve- surveillance cameras are how they know Hannah had an, an illegal multi-lens magnifier. That's her mom. Mm-hmm. They basically built a lens magnifier and that's, uh, and then judicial came and completely destroyed it. And that kind of caused her brother and her brother was already dead. But then because they both thought the father reported them, uh, the mother killed herself and the, the daughter never, Juliet never trusted her dad again. And then she left home because of that. But now she finds out it's actually just because of the camera. Her dad didn't report them. Her dad just wanted to keep them safe. So they had an emotional point up. Uh, a moment where they hook back, where they like hug and like are happy. Um, Juliet reconciles with us with a. Uh, oh, sorry, never mind. Juliet is then unable to find how it how to look inside the hard drive, and it turns out she has to go to very specific computers to be able to do it. Um, so the rest of the next couple episodes is her trying to just find a way to open it. She then f- finds uh, Bernard. Bernard tells her. They have to talk. So they go to a cornfield and Bernard reveals that he is the man who knows everything and everything. No. He runs the entire silo. For some uh, reason, the founders of the silo trusted one person in like every generation to know everything and run everything. Like and he giver? was like, basically, Always yeah. Like the and, giver. He, and he's like the one for this generation, basically. So he knows everything and he's like burdened with glorious purpose. Oh, wow. Um, and he was responsible for the mayor and uh, the deputy's death. And while they were going to arrest Juliet and take the hard drive, she, and then they also fraudulently claimed that she, they said, oh, I think you said you wanted to go outside. And she's like, I, th- I never said I want to go outside. But she's like, I don't know. I heard it. He heard it. All of our guys heard it. So that's a majority. Mm. Uh, Juliet then jumps off the silo's central stairs to escape with the hard drive and she actually does not fall to her death. She makes it. 
Um, then the next episode is called The Getaway. It's just about Julia running away from judicial camera, finding, and she breaks into Symes' apartment where her where his wife and children are. So that kind of pisses off Symes. Goes into the, opens up the hard drive and finds that George left her a message using the camera, recorded her, recorded himself. And it's like something nobody has seen before because like they don't really have videos and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it's like really cool. And then she and it's like, it was just called like start here. And it's like him finding out like her, con- him confessing that like he wasn't using her. He actually does, he did love her. And like, look at this file next. After that, uh, uh, she still has a runaway though, because every time she uses it, the people behind the janitor's closet gets like a ping. Like they're looking for that hard drive and they know exactly where it is after that. Dang. Um, so she then, uh, so then she has to quickly move. She runs down. She finds a guy from IT who is able to circumvent the lock where you have to go to a specific computer. So they can do it anywhere. So they do it. And then they also reroute it. So it looks like it's somewhere else. So they give it time to actually look at it. So she has time to fully watch the recording. And she also has time to look at the video of the past cleaning where it's all green outside. Next episode is called Outside, where Juliet has... Yeah, last episode. This one's called Outside. Where Juliet has the IT guy broadcast the footage to the entire silo, but Bernard shuts it all down before before uh, basically anybody can really like see it. Like people see it, but he said, but he shuts it all down quickly and tells everybody in the janitor's room, "What you have seen, you will unsee." Mm, cool. Uh, Juliet then escapes thing. to mechanical where she talks to uh, Walker, and Walker finds out, and they were trying to come back like, "Where did this all begin?" And they found out. She it all began when she tried to steal heat tape from the top because she was using her own heat tape, which was much better than the heat tape that they were given. But for some reason, that was that was like I got her in a lot of trouble because for some reason they were supposed to use the silo, they're supposed to use like the given heat tape instead of the bettered heat tape. Mm-hmm. Well, the walker figures it out and gives the better heat tape to supply so that when supply needs it they have the better heat tape and she's right. uh, uh juliet kind of accepts being arrested and uh if because like she was given a deal that if she goes out willingly he will tell her what happens to george and also make sure nobody else will be punished so she accepts that and she finds out that george uh basically sacrificed himself because he was like if i if he didn't kill himself he would have been tortured and given and would have had to give all the information away so he just sacrificed himself what a cool guy and then, uh, and then Bernard destroys the hard drive, mm-hmm. and uh, Juliet has to wait to go outside. But Juliet gets a message from Walker that says, uh, "Like, be not afraid because supplies in because supplies in good condition," and something like that. And mm-hmm. then after that, she finally goes outside, and we find out the reason she's in good supply is because that heat tape is better quality heat tape. So when they actually wrap up her shoot, suit with the heat tape, it's good quality. She uh-huh. goes outside yeah. and the silos cr- and outside is green and luscious. Mm-hmm. But she realizes it's just playing the exact same video that she was watching on the hard drive. Oh. it's a- So she's able to push past and she was able to convince Bart to do one thing. Give her Holston's sheriff badge that has truth on the back and keep it in her pocket. So C then goes to the sheriff's body and places the truth badge on it. She then walks to the camera, takes out her rag to clean it, but then she doesn't. She doesn't clean the camera. So far, every single person we've seen who's gone out has cleaned the camera, Mm -hmm. but she does not. She then starts to walk away and that's when Bernard and Simon start to realize that she oh wait she's like they're like oh shit she knows she knows it's all fake and it's not actually green um so then she keeps walking past and typically everybody collapses but they did but she doesn't because she has good heat tape because she's actually protected from the outside yeah yeah so then she keeps walking and she gets past the projection and she can see the outside and she just walks off but before she had left she had to talk to Bernard inside the cell and she told him then why like like why couldn't why can't we know this like how come the there's a door underneath the silo stuff like this turns out 
even Bernard didn't know about that metal door underneath the silo. Mm. So Ooh. Bernard goes back to his office and turns out even though he destroyed the drive, he still did recover the disc that was inside the drive. So that's kind of building up season two. Yeah. And then back to Juliet, she's past, like she's kind of walking off. But then we start to, but then the camera starts to zoom out and we see that it's one crater with a silo in the center. But then there's hundreds of these craters, all with their own silos inside. Wow. And in the distance, there's a wow. burning and like, and there's some type of like hazy burning city in the background. And that's how the season ends. Season two will be out. It will be, uh, I think, four episodes, maybe more, mm -hmm. maybe eight. Uh, no, I think it's eight episodes uh, made by Michael Dinar and Amber Tel uh, Tem Templemore. And Templemore will direct four episodes, including the last one. Interesting. So it interesting. was going. It was it was going to be uh, done filming last year, but because of the writer strike, they didn't finish filming until like December. Mm. So it's yeah. like craters and like in the center, exact center. Center of every at the yeah, basically the exact center of every crater is like a little door into the, every side. Does the burning city look like human? It's like supposed to be. Like no, it's like, it's like it's like been burnt out for a long time. Yeah, so, mm. but like, mm. the, does the does the ground look like kind of irradiated? It's, yeah, I, like it's so all it's gray. Earth. It's like almost brown. Like, ev yeah, it's definitely earth, but everything, maybe, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, like everything's dead. Because my one idea is like, the silos are all spaceships, and they like landed on Mars. And that's what Maybe, I don't think so. But I, th I wow. think it is this earth. Is, this because, is of, because of this idea. Because of the city, I think it's Earth. I think it's just everything is dead. I think it's implied that it's probably like a post-nuclear world. Yeah. The entire yeah, Beck, world this is, probably Beck, this is us in like 10 years, dude. Yeah. Come on. Wow. Either way, I actually highly recommend this. This was a <laughs> really good show. I might watch this. This was actually one of the best. You this have to hand it to Nicola. He does know how to retell a story. You know, it's and... great because he can retell it in 24 <laughs> minutes and 7 seconds. <laughs> That's I'm goaded. My high school musical. Don't okay. ever blame me to be for fair, it. Okay, okay but, but the fair, show, the his... show is ten hours long, so it's ten hours worth of content, over ten hours worth of content. So and, and condense it to twenty-four high minutes. Musical. Nothing happens in that show they compared sing. to this show. They sing. They have love triangles. Either way, even with and all this, of that, is, I think that's way better than even some, with some stupid e silo. They sing songs even with to my, each other. Original songs. My, even with my broad, uh, broad strokes, I think watching it is really worth it because you get to see how every single point I brought up is like connected and flows well, and like every point is actually much more dramatic than the way I actually and like actually feels important. Yeah. Um, no, it felt it felt the story. I could, I could, really, I could, I could, I could, really, I, I, could I, I could create a cohesive like yeah. thread. From what I you like, said. I like this is like genuinely like the recommendation for this podcast episode. Watch the silo season one. It is by far like one of my like the best sky fi show I have watched. But you haven't on seen Apple TV. Scavenger's Rain. Too, I have not watched Scavenger Rain. But right now, yeah, but that's as of animated. now, as of now, it is the best sky fi show I have watched. Don't say sky fi. Sci fi saying? show I have watched. This, post okay, so the, post Scavenger's Rain, it'll probably be the best. It'll probably be the best three live things? action one. There are yeah, three things, because I have nothing so left that, to say. That's back. what I've watched. Nothing. Please yeah, hurry so back. back. Please go quickly. All right. Okay. Um, I, re I watched the first hour of Cars. And Yo. Cars is still a good it's movie. Sure what? <laughs> All right. Next. Is I it better than Beauty and the Beast? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, no, next uh. one. I watched the first episode of Carol and the End of the World. Now, this my brother show, watched that. Wow. He said he was good, right? It was like it's like about like the woman and the world is ending, and she doesn't really know what to do. So she becomes an accountant. Oh well, she shows up. What to the, the fuck are you talking about, Ray? At the end of the first oh, episode, so, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't see this. Basically, show. the plot is like um, like there's this woman. <laughs> And the world is end. There's a giant meteor. It's ending and it's landing in seven months. And that sounds like Silo. Like, they're hang gliding. They're climbing. They're climbing Mount Everest. And this woman is like going to an Applebee's. 
and like so basically there. what you're telling me is this is just a prequel for Silo. <laughs> yeah, this is the Silo prequel. Okay, and then she was like doing all this mundane stuff, and everyone's like, you know, you gotta do more. You the world the world is ending in seven months. You gotta check off that. Is this actually list. is this actually just the other person? Is this just a normal person's perspective from the sh- from the movie? Don't look up. I mean, yeah, yeah. kind of. It's, it's like, just it's don't look up, just, except instead of following just, the people that discover the meteor, it's just two random people. It, it's just like a woman who's like, doesn't know what she wants, doesn't like, know what she's doing, she, the world's ending, she's like, what should, I, what should I be doing? And then at the, at the end of the first, like a guy is just like, you know, I love you, there's seven months left, I love you, let's, let's like kind of get married, let's, let's be in a relationship. Babies. Like, you know, I've known you two hours or like one day. It's like, this is not going to happen. But it's like very mundane. It's a lot. It's very, it's very good. I'm on, I just finished the first episode of four. So uh, I'll watch the next three probably this week and tell you how it goes. Yeah, then, I heard it was a pretty good show. I'm going to assume, I have a theory back. Tell me when you watch this. By the end of the show, the world's not going to end. The world That's is my going theory. to end. Or you did not see how big this meteor is. Come on, Beck. It's or not going to what, what do you think they're going to do? It's going to nuke it? That doesn't work. It's going to miss the Earth by one inch. You mean yeah, like and then it's, it's going to show about... It's a show about... Yeah. And then she's going to move past the meteor, and now, now she has a great new life. And it's about, like, I don't know, moving on and no, finding your identity they, or something. She is 100% going to die. They're all going to die. No. Mean Girls the Musical! No. The Mean Girls remake. I watched it. Yeah. So you, you talked about Mean Girls last episode. Now you gotta talk about the remake. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. all I'm gonna say, I'm gonna talk like for like a minute about okay. it. It's just like the, the plot is like weaker than the original. Like it's not as really? tightly written. They cut out the internal monologue. So like times in the movie where she's like saying like, you know, I was thinking about this. I'm thinking about that. It's like. They don't have that. So for some reason, in the middle of a math company, she's like, you know, when did I learn this? And she's saying it out loud because there's no internal monologue. So it's small. But did she sing the monologue? No. Like, when okay. I was 10, I used to na 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 na. That is the beginning of one of the songs, I swear to God. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, when I was nine, I fell in love. Um, But yeah, so it's Mean Girls. The plot's a bit weaker they try to like modernize it like they use tiktok they're a bunch of like they say how the entire school feels by like they show a bunch of tiktoks did they mention covid they don't mention covid which is good but it's all that and then the music we gotta get to the music so there's like 12 songs in this um, and I do think they are really good additions to them. I mean, I think the problem with most remakes is they don't add anything to them. They're just like, what if we do this, but again? So I think adding music to it is a way to justify doing the remake. So I am glad that there's one version of this film that has all the music in it. But it, there is like... I probably would rather rewatch the original than rewatch this one. But it, I think it is justified being made. Well, that's I me, mean, girls. so but, <laughs> but um do the do you feel like the character like the actors played the characters well? Like the, the same as didn't vibe. They played the characters very well. Although some of the characters were like written a lot like different i'm just thinking of like this one girl it's like um supposed to be like a really stupid girl and they like increased her stupidity like 10 times and she's in the movie like twice as much so that was really annoying but everyone else i thought was good they made the best friends also way better written and they gave them like four songs which which are like my favorite so, what about um? What about the Queen Bee herself, Regina George? Yeah. Um, I don't know. The actor that played her played her on Broadway, so she knows the cool. role. Uh, yeah. That's... I mean, it just it feels pretty average, you know. And I feel like yeah. I don't I don't have that much to actually say about it. 
I mean, that's fair. I mean, it's like it's hard, it's hard to recap the magic of a cult classic. Yeah. It's actually uh, what the, the if, one crazy uh, thing to know, me is like it's like basically made by Tina Fey and she plays the same character she did 20 years ago. Like, wow. you know, it kind of right. felt like maybe she was like, you know, I was in this cult classic movie. What if we remake the cult classic movie so I can be famous? But I'm still in it. Yeah, but I'm still in it, you know? Everything else changes, but I'm it still in it. It is funny because I remember hearing that, like, she was like, you know, this is, this is a musical made for the modern generation. And I'm like, what? It's just a musical. There's not, like generational stuff about it. It's just people singing. You don't need to modernize music. Do you think this mu- this um Mean Girls ne- should should have been a musical or should have been like non-musical? It's good to have both options. Okay. Okay. I feel I feel like having both options is better than just having one. What's your what, what, do you have any favorite songs? Um, all the ones by the best friends are good, and it's mostly just saying, like, you know, Regina, she's, she's bad. She's like a lion. She's an apex predator. Like a bitch. Yeah. And then they have one where it's like, you know what? We're gonna throw a revenge party where we ruin someone's life, and they're singing it so cheerily. Um, but yeah. And they have this really good, um, one-shot song where they just go through the entire school with this one person singing. So, yeah, the songs are good. I, I have them on my Spotify. All right, end of We're... the podcast. Yeah. Well, that's the end All of right. the, episode. What's the recommendation? Silo. Silo. Watch Season it. One. And Mean Girls the Musical. I just think you guys should. I object that one. I object to that one. I think I object all... to that one. <laughs> Not I think mean girls. all of you guys should watch Silo. I like honestly. I if you like, had an Apple if you TV like sci-fi, TV. if you like sci-fi, like what do you have? There. You keep losing Hulu, Apple TV Plus, everything. Okay, well, I personally only paid for Hulu so I could finish My Hero Academia. No way. What a cringe guy. Which is a very well, like, embarrassing you can, way. You can always get the Hulu Disney Plus when it comes out. Uh, the yeah, merger. My parents won't even pay for that. <laughs> They well, they'll say for Disney Hulu, Plus right Disney now. Plus. I'll get both. Mm, you yeah. know, I mean, if you, you know? didn't it like if you buy an Apple product, you get like a year of Apple TV. Yeah, oh, no, it was like three months. Yeah, mm. but, but don't um, worry, they have. I, it's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, on Apple TV you that like makes it worth pillow? ten dollars a month. Yeah, it's, it's my awesome. Really cool. Thanks. So. Always use Celsius and Always thanks for use listening. Celsius.